beautiful morning. Oh, the birds got another fig. <gasps> Look at everything's growing so good and so big. I wonder why. Oh, looky, looky, something else to share today. All right, I'll tell you because you guys need to set this up. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. I knew you were gonna come in after seeing the opening of the clip. Look, I'm having a party, pretty much having a party. Pictures! Oh, this blew my mind. Let me tell you what I did. I am now, I'm putting these all over the garden. It's not gonna be in every single toad or bucket or in the ground or raised bed, but a lot of the raised beds are gonna get a pitcher. A pitcher? Why would they get a pitcher? This is your greatest compost in place system you're gonna have. Why? It is so incredibly easy. All you have to do, and I'm gonna show you in details, a whole what, less than three minutes. You have to load this up with holes. Let me tell you something, the more holes, the better. And then holes on the lid, I'll explain why later, and holes on the bottom. Cheap. You can't get any cheaper than that unless you wanna use your own food container. But here's the thing, most of your food containers snap. So you're gonna to have to go fight with it and unsnap it or they screw on. And if they screw on, well, if the threads go off, then you can't get them back on. What does a pitcher do? It sits on. Some of them are better than others. Now, you can go with this one. This is from the Dollar Tree. Very simple. You'll see the difference when you handle it. It's lighter. I don't know how long it will last, but geez, for a dollar, dollar twenty-five, even if it only lasts a year, that would be good enough. But I think they'll go a couple years as long as they're in the soil. Now this is thinner, smaller lid. See how it's a smaller lid and it is a thinner material, but it will do the same job. These will do that I found for two dollars. This is a heavier lid. See how much whiter it is? And it's a thick plastic and it's BPA free. It's a number five and it shows that it's food grade. This is phenomenal because you're in the garden. You've got this thing submerged in your tote, raised bed, bucket, whatever. You could do this on a balcony, 50 stories up. You can do it on the ground anywhere. And when you eat dinner and you've got all those kitchen scraps, what are you gonna do with it? Open the lid, throw it in there, close it. There is nothing to do. Let me show you real quick. What you're gonna need is a soldering iron. You can get those anywhere. These are 30 watts. You can get them at Harbor Freight, you can get them at Home Depot, you can get them at Lowell's, you can get them at, well, anywhere. Target, Walmart, that's all you're gonna need. You won't need anything else. The whole project is gonna take you less than three minutes to put together. Let me show you how I put one together. So this is what it is. Here's the pitcher. You see what it looks like? Now the only thing we're gonna do at the end is put holes on the top and you'll see why. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to make as many holes as possible. It doesn't matter if you make them too high, it won't matter, but we want holes on the bottom because we wanna make sure no water sits in here because worms don't like being in water. So let's move this over and let's just go for it. All right, so first thing, let's just do holes on the bottom. You can make some longer holes too. And we got holes on the bottom. Now we wanna make holes all the way around. And we got holes there. Now the only other place you wanna make holes real quick is if it rains, this could fill with water and you could end up having mosquitoes. That's the only reason. So let's make a couple holes in there. If you don't want, you can make little tiny holes if you'd rather so you don't get any insects in there. Not that it matters to me. But see, you can make the holes very tiny with your soldering iron or you can make them bigger. We're done. Now all you have to do is get that out into the garden. And that's it. It's now ready for the garden. It's ready for you to start using immediately. Let's go back outside and I'll show you one of them I set up in my rainbow garden. And this was a tote that was already set up, so I had to dig the hole. So what I did there was I did dig the hole. 
I did drop it in, didn't go all the way to the bottom of the tote, it doesn't matter, and I filled it in. As you can see, it was nothing with nothing. I removed the soil that I needed to remove, and then when I was done, I put some of the soil inside the container, and then I pushed it around as well. It's good to have a little bit of soil in your compost in place, just a little bit, because the worms are, even though they're creating their own wonderful compost, they need something to start. With the holes on the container, they are flowing back and forth, and their worm pee is flowing in there, and the microbes are gonna get in there and everything. It is the greatest thing that you're ever going to set up in the garden, and so cheap. Okay, so it's gonna cost you anywhere between a dollar and two dollars. Toilet paper costs you more than that. You're not saving it and washing it for later. This is something that's gonna create food for you and your family, and it could last a year or two years. It won't matter. I have found this the easiest thing to use. As you're watching this, you can see how easy it is to put in your garden. You can put it in a garden that's already done. It doesn't matter. You're gonna dig a hole and make it fit. Don't worry about the handle. And do remember that when you look in there one day, if it's all broke down and starting to get full, you can open that up and pull the entire pitcher out and use that in another container. At any time, you're setting something up new and you want some compost, pull the whole thing out. You'll already have the concave in the tote, in your bucket, gently pull it out, Take out what's in there and start all over and place it back in. I can't think of anything easier than this. Yes, I've got my two system. That's perfectly fine. If that's what you want, I do have a lot of the two system, but this is nothing. You don't have to worry about anything. And you do have to remember periodically to water it. So you could turn the pitcher either way. If you want to have a little opening, turn it where you can just water some water in there. Definitely water because it's gonna keep everything wet. Don't worry about drowning your microbes or your earthworms. As long as you have this thing loaded with holes, it's gonna leak right out into the container and it's going to feed your plants. This is perfect for your squash, tomatoes, cucumbers, anything that is a heavy feeder. Though you can use it for any plant, that's what you really want it for. Any water coming out of those totes, remember, will be valuable because that's gonna be your compost tea. So I hope it gave you some great information because I am setting these up obviously everywhere. And I think you're gonna love this too once you have it set up, because what is easier than lifting a lid, dropping something in there and closing it. With that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm so excited. One more thing. If you really wanted to plant some seedlings or something in top, on top there, you could get a bowl that will fit. You can get four for a dollar and you can put a bowl on top and you can start some seedlings and have something small. That will work too, whatever way you wanna go. But I know that by putting this on, you're gonna keep those critters out and you are gonna be making compost tea and plant food for your food all the time. I have so many ideas, I just don't have time to give them all to you. I'm just gonna go with that. It's easier. I go for easy. So I just ate a fig off the tree. I'm gonna put the skins in here. Let me move this over. See how nice this lifts up? Because it's being held in there and I can drop the sticks and see how I drop things in all the time? Let's see what's going on. I can take this off just to see for a minute. Is there anything going on in here? Let's see. Oh, <gasps> look at that already. Just in a, look, this quick, look at that. Did you see, look. See how they're already feeding? There's probably more. Look at that. Okay, that's the stuff I put in the other day. Oh yeah, look, 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 look. They found it right away. I mean, look how quick they found it. This is the perfect home for them. And I want to leave them alone. That's it. So let's put some leaves back. I just, as I go through and I clean off the old leaves, let's give them, remember, anything on the bottom underneath becomes the bottom. Anything on the top comes the top. Let's just put it all back. And now, is that cool? So we got a bunch of happy, happy worms in there.